Alright ladies, finally got the cows in, we're going to do a feeding video here on Leona. I got 150 in this building total between the three pens. There's a little bit of extra room left in it. And I got a couple more buildings that I got to get fed up to, so we're not going to max out every pen. I'm going to try to figure out the great ratio to go with the feeding and whatnot. But to begin with, we're going to run over here. Um, my Dodge broke and busted. So I decided to replace it with a couple other ones. I got the classic Ford here, well, Lizard, that you can get off of Mod Hub. And I'm pretty sure I found that other 3500 Dodge here, the flatbed, on, I want to say, Expendables Facebook modding group. So we're just going to jump in the classic Ford, because I know it's a Ford, and run these bales over to the commodity shed and get them unloaded there so I have easy access to get them in the TMR mixer and also you guys know from the earlage and silage video I got a silo, small silo over there that holds the earlage, grass lidge and um, corn, chopped corn, whatever, just silage, so that makes it pretty easy, and then all I need to get over there after that would be the straw bales, so we may get into that, but we might not, it might just be one of those who drive the TMR mixer over, throw one in, we'll see how it goes, this is my first test, um, the hay liner I'm pulling here, the bale trailer, is done up by lazy modding possibly be out really soon we'll see if it can get through the Giants mod hub testers then the other bale trailer was done by Western Iowa mods and you guys can find Western Iowa on Facebook and whatnot so just a little insight on some of the mods I'm running we'll get to a tour later I'm not fully loaded on everything I want in yet. And then I gotta remember which way this dumps. I think it dumps to the right if I remember correctly. The main reason I did uh, the small stave silo there, it takes quite a few days in game to ferment any, any other silos or bunkers or bales. So I needed to get something quick now so I can start feeding. I'll probably end up using it for some silage later on down the road also, but we'll see. Ah, uh, wrong thing selected. There it is. Which one is it? Oh yeah, it's lower. Beautiful. Come on. You know you want to. Takes a little bump. And just like that, we got plenty of bales over here to feed for a while. And the only reason I'm putting them here is I hope to eventually be able to get my hands on one of them uh, bale shredders. And then I can be more accurate on what I'm actually feeding, the amount I'm feeding everything. Oh crap, forgot to put that in neutral. Don't run away on me. So, we're going to grab the 86. The tractor's a little light for this TMR mixer. And you see in my menu over there to the left, the HUD and the silage in the bottom filling up. I'm going to bring this up to probably about halfway point. Because you can see in the HUD to the left, you, gotta f you can feed more a bales and silage and it actually wants you to feed a lot more silage than anything then you do not have to feed any straw if you do not want to straw is just there for a filler which as we get more and more cows in I'm gonna have to do that just to conserve through the silage or buy some more ground and then we have cracked corn 
or mineral feed which mineral feed can be made from your cereal crops with the hammer mill and then you got C uh, CCM which is wet cake and high moisture corn which I'll get into the high moisture corn right now we do not need much at all but I'm gonna bring it up just a little bit because I gotta add everything else in so right there we are sitting pretty good from the silo we're at 57 percent for that alright so let's see beautiful it still works I double checking my HUD would still show up uh, even in a different vehicle when we're close enough I like that little feature they finally got in so I have a full bucket of cracked corn here which it shouldn't take that much of it either I'm gonna try to dump slowly so I don't overfill and not dump on the other side either gotta get a little used to this yet so it's gonna take two of these buckets to get that up there where I'm comfortable with to finish mixing hopefully get a full TMR and I gotta work on all that that's my fault for whatever reason my crack corn is acting a little goofy as you guys can see so I gotta figure out if it's the bucket or if it's the cracked corn and we'll get that fixed too alright that's a full bucket The reason I haven't sold this bucket yet, which I should just probably get the MDS grapple bucket instead, but I wanted to do this one with the hay bales, so I didn't have to put the forks on. Alright, that's two full buckets here. And the other reason I went with doing my added items like I just did, silage, cracked corn, high moisture corn. First, is I didn't want to get um, too full and too full off of hay bales and then have an issue. Oh come on, I had it. Come on. there we go now I got it in the bucket now I'm just gonna cause a fail explosion but whatever maybe I should have just used the forks yeah that's kinda what I'm thinking too Maybe if I grab it a little different. Alright, I'm done with this bucket. I'll be getting a different one later. I gotta do some testing on them and whatnot. As of right now, we're just gonna plop her over here and use my bail fork spike. I am struggling something fierce on this video. Come on, guys.
Alright, let's see what happens. Hopefully I don't lose the whole bale when I pop it in there. Hopefully it goes down a little at a time. Perfect. So we're going to slowly mix this in and double check that I don't get too full and ruin everything else. I can go a little fuller. We're about halfway through the bale. Oh, we gotta drive back in. Why isn't it showing the HUD? Alright, drive out. One little glitch in there. Try not to go overboard. But trying to get it as full as possible. So it will take about three of those little buckets there to to get my cracked corn where I want it to be, which I can still put straw in. So I mean, I'm not even to the max here. Just trying to figure out how much cracked corn I need. So that way I know what I need all plant, which I think I am going to have to fill the grain bed full of corn so I can make some cracked corn myself, otherwise it's going to get pretty expensive. I already got a crazy loan. I mean, we're farming in debt right now. So we're going to burn over, I got uh, turn this, the reason why I got this one is I can toggle the sides. So I can hit all these pens coming down here and if I have to move any of the special needs I can and I'd still be able to hit that side. So we're going to get some fed in here. And let's hit our cow menu quick. Ah, uh, da 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 da. It's pen three right here. So we're at six thousand liters. Not even close enough to hold them through the day. I'll be doing another round of this for sure. But at least I know what I need to start with. I want to get a little bit of food in every pen I got, so they got something. And then switch toggle to the left side. Make sure we're feeding on the left side. Good. I know it ain't much left, but at least I can get the younger cows fed somewhat too. Not quite sure on how I'm going to end up doing this building. It's a little tight fit. Oh yeah, she's going to be tight. Alright, let's hope I got the triggers right. Oh, there's the ball bump.
this is the pen that caused me issues right before I started recording. So there it is. And there you guys have it. It's uh, a little bit of feeding. I got a lot of bedding to do. And I got a lot more feeding to do. But thanks uh, for watching and following along with my uh, dairy farm feeding video here. Have a good one.